Tell him, I mean, we're running a caravan park here, not an army barracks. Well, it's on the yeah, back she's idea anyway. Oh, I suppose no, because it's Anzac Day tomorrow. It's a great big so big what? Nothing. Anyway, we had to get up early. We've still got to clean up the sewing room for Uncle Danny. He'll be here soon. Can't he sleep somewhere else? Well, he has to have a room on the ground floor. You know that. But it's my room. It's got all my things in it. We can move them. It's only for a couple of days. Oh, it's got all my sewing things in it, too. So no arguments, OK? I hate Danny coming, I hate it! Sir, Whatever you say, sir! Hey, I don't want to be heavy about it, but it's Sunday morning, Nev. I mean, people ought to be able to sleep in on a Sunday morning. Till what time? What? Till what time should they be allowed to sleep in? I don't know, about ten, I suppose. Right you are, sir! <laughs> right you are, sir. <laughs> OK. Thanks, Nev. Oh, that's all we need. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, look, I'll catch this later. Morning. Don't you start. I've already been carpeted by the boss. Morning, Donald. Morning. Good morning. What are you talking about? Ravalli's cancelled till 10 o'clock. Oh, well, that's one item out of the way. Floss, I wondered if you could help me. Um, I need the waist taken in an inch. I uh, seem to have lost some weight since the last parade. <laughs> Wouldn't want your trousers falling down on the march, would we? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, hand them over. No problems. <laughs> Anzac Day's very important to me. Yeah, it is to lots of us. I lead the cadet corps at the dawn service. It's a wonderful celebration. Celebration? Yes. What of? War? If you like. You can honour the soldiers, but war is not something to be celebrated. A pacifist, I take it. Yeah, in a sense. Yes, I'm sure. I suppose you walked in all those peace marches. Wrote letters of protest. Not exactly, no. The Woodstock generation mentality. Sit back with your peace badges and let the enemy walk all over you. I'm not going to buy into this. Ten o'clock, OK, Nev? Right. Argument's too hot for you, is it? There's something I think you should know. Tom was in Vietnam. He was? Yeah. Huh. Pushing a pen, I suppose. When will the pants be ready, Floss? <sighs> Call by after lunch, Donald. They'll be ready then. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. It's only for a couple of days. But I don't know what I need. I think we'd better pack the lot, darling, if Uncle Danny's going to use the room. Why don't you put it all in the box? Thanks, mate. G'day, you lot! Here he is! <laughs> G'day, old son. How you doing? Uh, great to see you. Yeah, great to see you, too. G'day, people. Dan? Sal, how are you, sweetheart? How you doing, Hearthfrog? Giving the local girls a hard time? Hey, look at this place. What a beauty. How'd you find it? Just oh. lucky, I guess. Come on, we'll give you a look. Come on, go in the back way, eh? Right. right home. Hey. hey. Love this place. You really fell on your feet, didn't you? More or less, yeah. Who's this? New member of the tribe? This is Bobby. This is my brother, Danny. Glad to meet you, kiddo. Hi. Hope they're not slapping you around too much. No. <laughs> hey, you're looking fit, old son. Hey. Working on the roads must be doing you good, eh? Oh, yeah, has its moments. We've made a bed up for you in the sewing room. It's my playroom. Oh, sorry to push you out, sweetheart. It's OK. Would you like to unpack? Get yourself sorted out first. Might as well. Then we can catch up with everything, eh? Right up. Fridge well stocked? Yeah, got a few in. No flies on you. You were having me on. No, I wasn't. You said he was a downer. Yeah, well, he's not usually like this, is he? Not usually. At least it's an improvement. Yes. Let's just hope it lasts. Here we are, mate. How's life been treating you since you landed here? Oh, it's had its ups and downs, you know. We've survived. Mind you, sometimes we didn't think we would. Does the caravan park pay? 
Was beginning to. Good place for kids. Oh, yeah, it's a good place. <laughs> now, what about you, though? Hey, eh? I mean, I haven't seen you look so good in years. What's your secret? Oh, I don't know. Healthy outdoor life, maybe. Oh, no, come on. Something's changed. Well, I've thought a few things through. I've got a different attitude towards life. Yeah? Talk about it some other time, OK? Yeah, yeah, sure. You uh, get yourself sorted out. If there's anything you need, you give us a yell. Through when you come, will you, I thought we might knock the top off this to have with the tucker. Oh, great. The roast will need another ten minutes. How's Pippa's brother? How was his trip down? Oh, he's fine. Better than we've ever seen him. Oh, well, that's good. I'm going to pop over later, see if there's anything I can do to help. Oh, look, there's no need. Pippa will have it all under control. Well, an extra pair of hands is always very useful, especially in a situation like this. Well, he's OK. He's used to managing by himself. Well, then it'll be a pleasant change. Pippa shouldn't exert herself. Pippa will ask for help if she wants it. Well, I'm sure she won't. Oh, really, Alfred, you've got no idea. You can't just barge in unless you're sure you want it. You can only get involved and upset yourself. Why should I upset myself? You know, Vietnam and all that. Well, yes, I have thought of that, of being reminded of Les. I've made up my mind. It was a long time ago. It's a cross I have to bear, but I shall bear it bravely. And it certainly shouldn't affect my attitude to poor Pippa's brother. I'll tell you later. Look, you do whatever you like. But just be careful what you say, OK? I'm tactful at the best of times, let alone with the disabled. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll make the gravy. He's not so grumpy this time. He gave you a big hug, didn't he? Oh, Pippa. Celia. I'm just on my way over to your place, actually, to help with your brother. I thought I'd buy him some chocolates on the way. Hello, Sally. Hello, Miss Stewart. I'm sure there's something I can help you with. There's nothing, really. Thanks for the offer. I mean, someone in his situation. I mean, it's a lot of extra work. And you have to think of yourself and your baby. Well, Danny does nearly everything himself. I don't think he'd welcome any help. Oh, well, if that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Oh, well, will you give him my regards, then? Thank you. It was a kind thought. And if anything crops up, I'll let you know. Oh, maybe I'll pop by tomorrow. Bye, Miss Stewart. Bye-bye, Sally. Why didn't you let her help? Well, I would have, only it's better she doesn't. Why? Well, you know what Miss Stewart's like. We're all used to it, but Danny isn't. I was just frightened he might do something to hurt her if they didn't get along. Oh, I think you did the right thing, Pippa. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, this Anzac Day's going to be different. Yeah, it will be. That March last year, they finally welcomed us home properly. And that makes it different? Yeah. Well, we're not those forgotten blokes from that war no one wanted to talk about, are we? Wake up. You think that March changed anything? Yeah. You're dreaming. Didn't change a thing. Too little, too late. Well, then why do you agree with me, then? What? Why did you agree that this Anzac Day would be different? What do you think I meant? suppose I thought you meant what you said. No, you didn't. You were thinking about something else. Oh, come on, Tom. Give me a break. You think March made a difference? I don't. Let's leave it at that. 